This blasted kitten would be the death of me. Reckless, vocal with his demands, eager to charge into danger. Orange and white with a pink and black nose, Scrappy might have been cute had he not also lost the end of his tail and half his left ear in brawls with his siblings. Despite his aspirations to weigh five pounds one day, he wasn't quite there yet. Bony and scarred, he advertised what he was, trouble. Wally, of course, was smitten with the little monster. He'd had a soft spot for thrill-seeking rebels with no sense of self-preservation for as long as I had known him. Probably how he ended up married to me. Even before the girls and I performed the essence transference ritual, withdrawing Wally's soul from the singing rubber bass mounted on a faux wood grain plaque, Wally had adored Scrappy. Now that his spirit swirled within a sterling silver charm fastened to Scrappy's collar, they were literally inseparable. The charm was heart-shaped, nothing special to avoid drawing attention, but it tinkled nicely on account of its original purpose as a bell. It was the only way I had found to prevent Scrappy from sneaking up on me, using my legs for his personal scratching post, then bolting away in a bloodthirsty game of tag I had no hope of winning at my age. Now, now, Scrappy. Wally chided as the kitten swiped a furry murder mitten across my calf in a drive-by mauling that left me grinding my teeth at the stinging pain. Had I worn dentures like Ida, they would have cracked under the strain. As it was, I feared my next trip to the dentist. Don't hurt your mama. I am not that hellspawn's mother. I growled for the hundredth time since adopting Scrappy. Bad attitude is why he attacks you. Laughter shone through Wally's voice as clear as the bell he now inhabited, illuminating his newfound happiness. My heart warmed to hear it, but I still wasn't letting the demon fluff off the hook. I would schedule an exorcism to kick him out of my house in a heartbeat if only he wouldn't take my husband with him when he was purged. Maybe Scrappy views calling me his mama as an insult to his actual mother, who the devil himself has probably seen out stapling lost pet posters on power poles to find, since she's on earth birthing litters of claw-handed minions. And that's why he singles me out to torment. <laughs>